right, this lesson is for my beginners again. Two weeks ago, I taught you your first three chords, your D, your G, and your A. I hope you've been practicing those, because now we're gonna play a song with them. All right, so we're gonna be doing all out strums. I'm gonna play this song through for you rather fast, and then we're gonna do a play along on it, and I'll put the tabs up for you, and that'll be a slow play along, all right? So I just want you to hear what the song sounds like. Here we go. All right. Now let's do a slow play along. We're going to be transitioning those chords. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now one thing we want to try to do here is we want to make sure when we transition, we're not making sounds that we don't want, okay? So listen to this, for instance. It's going to be a D to a G. Did you hear that extra sound? What happened was I didn't lift any pressure up and I slid, okay? Now, I didn't mean for that to happen. If I meant for that to happen, that would be different, but I didn't mean for that to happen. So one thing you gotta make sure of is when you're transitioning, that you lift the pressure off of it enough to deaden it as you're moving it, okay? So let's practice that a second here. We're gonna go four beats of D to four beats of G, and we're not gonna get this sound. We're gonna try to work to not get it, okay? Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, did you hear how that time, when I transferred, you didn't hear that extra noise, okay? So that's one thing to think about when you're chording and listen for. If you meant to make that noise, that's one thing. But if you didn't, make sure you fix it, okay? Okay? All right, now let's move on to the second way to play it, okay? Now, this time, we're not gonna use chords. This time, we're gonna use just our melody notes on the melody line, and we're only going to here. We're not going far, but we're just gonna use our melody line and we're gonna let our middle and our bass string drone, meaning ring out as we strum, okay? We're gonna do that. And we're gonna add another technique in here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to outpick just our single note melody, then we're gonna strum, okay? So it'll sound like this on our D chord. So it's a pick, strum, pick, strum, okay? This, this will teach you within this song a technique to start getting accurate in your picking. I only wanted to hit one note and then a strum of all strings, okay? So let's play it now like that and I'll call out the fret numbers for you. Two, So you see how we've got a bunch of different things going on. In one version, we're playing our chords, which 
or just strumming. In the other version, we're picking a single note, then strumming and letting these strings drone out the whole time too. So you can take all of this and vary it up a whole bunch, right? You can do your chord melody, doing that pick strum thing that I just showed you. Okay, you can do the full strumming on the melody. And you can vary the two, okay? So you can go, uh, 